It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Northern Monk Brewing Company and it's a can of their Guada Have Faith. <laughs> it's a guava and passion fruit IPA coming in at 5.4% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. There's the look of the can. Without further ado, let's get the can out into a glass and see what we get. Brand new beer into Morrison's. Or they might have brewed it before Northern Monk. I've not tried it, but it's arrived into Morrison's. As part of their new beer range. So a beer brewed with fresh fruit. Should be interesting my goodness me look at this now admittedly I've been quite critical about <clears throat> some of these beers in the past because first and foremost I want my beer to taste like beer and I'm going to be absolutely honest again with you in this review look at it Look at it. I mean, to pick this beer up in a supermarket, I think <laughs> that's going to scare people. If they're new to beer, they're going to pour that out and they're going to go, oh my goodness me, that's off. So if a couple of you have made your way over to this video and you found it, let me assure you, it's not off. All that sediment there floating around in the glass is a mixture of what looks to be, it looks like the miniature seeds, but they, it could be a little bit of yeast. Look at that suspension. That suspension looks like fruit. Hazy, strawish colored beer. Let's get the aroma. <clears throat> One finger white head. really fruity aroma as you would imagine what's really quite telling about the beer is that I've stuck my noses in beer in the past IPAs double dry hopped IPAs <clears throat> and they've had a very similar aroma But this is real fruit, real fruit, and probably a some kind of hop. We'll have a look at the back of the can later on to see if we can work out what hop it is. But yeah, lots of fruit, lots of passion fruit, of course, lots of guava. You do get a slightly kind of grainy malt build, which is really important. Represents a beer, of course. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It was always going to be an interesting one. It was always going to be an interesting one. And it was always going to divide the, the line. <clears throat> Which side of the line you sat depends on, I suppose, your... Where you want your beer. Do you want it really fruity with real fruit? Or, you do, or do you want it light and malty with lots of hop flavour that, that, that tastes like fruit? This is definite fruit. This is the, you get the, you really do get the kind of like the sharpness of the fruits, the vitamin C, the almost touch of sourness from the fruit in the beer. <clears throat> You can see all of the fruits on the glass. And I've got to say, 
from the salted caramel beers to the the Brew York beer, the collaboration with who was that with Brew York and Vocation. That stout was incredible. Really enjoyed it. Northern Monk put in an Imperial Stout. Um, they've also put in a double dry hopped IPA. <clears throat> now there's a fruit beer. And I suppose what it's showing is that there's, there's variety. There's variety in Morrison's now from IPAs to porters to pale ales to red ales to, to all sorts of different styles of beer now from chocolate, peanut butter, salted caramel beers to... There's a couple. I've got a couple. I'm looking at them here. Wild Child, Salted Caramel Stout, Thornbridge, Salted Caramel Lusaria. It's an ice cream porter. A couple of pale ales and... <sighs> I think this is Morrison's just going, right, okay, let's, let's have a great variety of beer for everybody. This will not be for everybody. I tell you this right now. This will not be for everybody. If I tell you who this would be good for, say you're in the beer aisle with your girlfriend or your wife <clears throat> or your sister, whatever, and you're walking down the beer aisle and you pick up some of these beers and you go, and your wife says, oh, let's go down the wine aisle and let's pick up a couple of bottles of wine for myself if you're going to have all this beer. And you could go, oh, hold on, hold your horses for one moment. Why don't you try this, this guava passion fruit IPA? See if you like it. And the lady, the good lady might say, okay, I'll have one of these cans or two of these cans and I'll go and get one bottle of wine and I'll hedge my bets. And then this then is an introduction to beer from somebody who might have exclusively drank wine. I'm using that lady as, as an example because out of my experience, um, in all the time I've been drinking beer and reviewing beer, um, certainly from my side of the family, um, my sister and <clears throat> my sister-in-laws, they're like, oof, no, they, they just do not like beer at all. I know lots of friends and girls and they, they just don't like beer. So I'm using it, I'm not trying to be kind of like, sexist or whatever but I'm just using it as an example one example it could be that one of your mates likes a fruity tango and you and you say to him actually try this guava passion fruit beer and he might kind of fall in love with it and then hence fall in love with beer and that's the point of it all is to fall in love with beer it's it's tippy toes it's it, it baby steps into the beer world Very fruity, very fruity. Almost tastes a little bit like my grandfather's gooseberry elderflower wine that he makes. Um, I, and this is my opinion, I think it's stretching the limits of, of where I will go to um, <clears throat> with beer. I would rather this IPA, and this is just me personally now, I would rather my IPA taste like passion fruit and taste like guava and, and orange peel and fleshy blood, fleshy blood orange with the double dry hop process where they add a lot of hops to the beer. I would much rather that than, than fruits added to my beer. But that's me personally. It's kind of healthy that I'm drinking some kind of fruit alcoholic drink. <clears throat> and well done to Northern Monk for for trying. I've had some of these beers where they have just gone wrong. For me they tasted they tasted terrible. Really don't like them at all. And then it's very rare occasions, like today, I I I thought, you know, I can tolerate this. It's not too bad. I've had much worse beer. The hops are Citra, Mosaic and Columbus and it was brewed with Grace Robson. <clears throat> so it's available in 
your supermarket chain Morrison's is three pound a can. I'm gonna rate it. Where do I sit with it? It's quite mucky, isn't it? It's quite mucky. But then again, it is a fruit fruit beer. I did pick her up off the shelf. You know, I think people will read the can and they will understand it, I think, if they pour out and see all this sediment. It won't harm you if you're new to beer. All this sediment won't harm you. It's probably like a a bitty orange juice, isn't it? That it, it, it looks like that. But my rating, I actually like fruit juices. I really do. And the more I think about it, the more I'm enjoying it, and the more I'm tolerating it. Um, but it just doesn't quite fit with where I am in the beer world. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you guys? I like it enough to give it... I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's a 6 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.